Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. Let's talk about the Trina and Spencer scene. Now, while some people looked at this as a very cutesy, kind of energetic, fun, playful way, right? And it was, it was all that. But there were some things that just kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. First of all, Spencer seemed like he does not really give a damn about Trina and her education because she's been on trying to do that paper for a hot minute, and Spencer would just not leave. He wanted to make sure that she was packed, she was ready to go, kept snippet distracting her about some of the stuff that was going to go on um, on their trip. Meanwhile, she kept snippet just saying, listen, I want to finish this now. This way I don't have to sit there and think about it throughout our trip, and I could just sit there and focus all my energy on you. Sounds good, right? Sounds, you know, it, it sounds great. But, you know, Spencer being Spencer, he wants what he wants, and he wants it now. I mean, if it was up to him, he would have practically told her, listen, just come as you are, we'll sit there and buy the stuff on the way, and we'll just keep it, we'll just keep moving. So, here's something that's just a little kind of odd to me. So, they're going to go see this Moulin Rouge play. Um... Third, you know, third, third row. Third row, you're, you're a castle. I mean, what, what do you mean third row? <laughs> it's like, bro, that's, that's for, that's for poor people. <laughs> like, you're, 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 you're a Cassidy. You belong in the first row. But he says that he's able to get, um, you know, I guess it's this fancy restaurant or whatever that takes like months and months, whatever to get in. But because he's a Cassidy, he's able to sit there and do that. I was like, all right, so let me get this straight. You're able to sit there and get into like, I guess like the hottest restaurant or whatever in town. If you got my girl sitting there sitting in third row, you want to tell me how that makes sense? Because I'm, I'm, um, I'm clearly messing something. Finally, she convinced the Spencer to leave. So this way he could sit there, you know, this way she could, you know, finish her paper. Like I said, very cutesy, fun, energetic scene. Just some little stuff that just kind of stuck out like a sore thumb to me. I did not care about the TJ and Jordan scene. Um, mostly because it had a lot to do with the surrogate stuff and him asking questions about you know, him being nervous about being a dad and everything, and I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. It's like I really did not care about the Molly and Alexa scene and Andrea coming in. You know, Molly is just like super extra and is just over the top annoying. The minute that she gets down there, Molly won't even let her get a word out. All she says is, hey, you know, I want to sit there and see you in person. She thinks the worst. Okay, fine. But let her, you know, when she gets there, let her speak. Of course, Molly being the annoying woman that she is, decides to just start yammering on and on and on and on and on. Just to find out that she's pregnant. So, you know, that's all... You know, I can't even sit there and pretend to, to care. Um, anyway, that goes on. And Alexa's is like, you know, could I sit there and talk Christina and Sam? And, you know, Molly has the usual stink attitude because um, for some odd reason, the, the writers decide to write it that way. And um, she's like, all right, yeah, whatever, fine. And she begrudgingly just agrees to, to let Sam, um, to let Alexis know, you know, to let Alexis let Sam and Christina know. So you got that going on. You got Drew. That, well, long story short, you guys asked for. Okay? Don't be wrong. He was on his own for a little bit. It's not easy to sit there and fight two on one. Even though he kept to talk about his Navy, scene tra his Navy SEAL training would sit there and keep him safe. But whatever. He fought the fort. He, got, he fought the good fight. And, uh, well, he lost. Long story short. Then Cyrus comes in, calls the guard, 
he puts like a piece of cloth on him. Like that's supposed to do something. I only sat there and I was just like, um, what is that supposed to do? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. Um, Carly and um, Diane sit there and talk about, you know, the judge and how they can possibly use the information to get your release. But long story short, she still has to sit there and go through the work of proving that the, drug, that the judge was biased towards Drew as far as advancing his career. So, kind of a pointless conversation, to be honest. But one of the things they do sit there and say is that, um, you know, the, the deal still stands. You know, Carly turns in Sonny, Drew goes free. And of course, Carly says no, because, you know, she's not going to do that. Now, she does find out that Drew is, you know, badly injured. He's going to general hospital. And then you see in the previews that Carly is on her feelings, talking about you're supposed to protect Drew. And I'm like, Carly, first of all, F your feelings. Okay? F your feelings. Listen, Drew wouldn't even be there if it wasn't for your stubborn ass that wouldn't sit there and listen to her. Okay? I understand she's angry and, you know, she's talking out of fear. But you know what? No, no, no. Screw that. F your feelings. Okay? You <laughs> Drew knew the risk of what he was getting into. You told him, you don't have to do this. He did it. So as far as I'm concerned, Carly could sit there and just kick rocks with her feelings. Um, hmm. Portia finds out from Curtis that Trina's going to New York and she ain't happy about it. Now she sat there and said, well, you know, it's not really anything I can do about it. You know, Trina's practically a grown adult. I can't sit there and forbid her. But all that talk was just that. Talk. We all know that she still wanted to do something. Now she is with there talking to Esme when Esme does come. And I'm not going to lie. Part of me is like very perplexed by this whole thing. I think the only reason why she is being nice to Esme is because if Esme can sit there and get rid of you know, um, take spent, you know, um, break up Spencer and Trina, then, then it's a win for her. Because otherwise, I just don't understand. And I understand that Esme, you know, she, you know, she can't remember what she did. But this was the same chick that was going to get your daughter in jail for years for a crime that she didn't commit. And, um, you're, you're, you're being awfully super chummy to her. Listen, I get there's a baby involved, and I'm not just saying that you got to be going back and forth for her. You can be cordial, because I've seen Carly be cordial, but to have that level of energy, mm, unless it's benefiting Portia in some sort of way, it's not really adding up to me. I'm going to be honest. Drew, um, not Drew, um, Blaze and Christina get along. I feel like there's probably going to be some sort of romance between those two. You know, she was fangirling out about, you know, loving her songs and her career and her playlist and blah, 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 blah. Then, of course, it finds out that um, Christina talked about how she sung in the nurse's ball. Which, I'm like, okay. I mean, that's, that's fine or whatever. Um, but the fact that she did you know, look up Christina's um, song, you know, on the internet meant that she has some sort of interest. So yeah, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna, you know, do something with those two. I feel like that's pretty much about it. Um I might have missed something. I feel like I did. Um so if I did, you know what to do. Come to a live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the soaps, YNR, GH, Days, and um, BNB. And if you are not a member, make sure you click the join button in the description box below to become a member. It gives you exclusive videos that I do for members only, exclusive live streams that I only do for members, and 
monthly member shoutouts that I do every month, once a month, to sit there and thank each and every single member um, for supporting the channel and just, you know, being along on this journey. That being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.